Sound check one. Sound check one, two, sound. Sound check one. Sound one.
sound check one sound check one two testing for sound one two sound sound check one sound sound check one sound one two sound sound check one
sound. Okay, good afternoon, everyone. Bon appétit, tout le monde. All right, we're getting ready for us to start our service. So we invite all those who are outside who are ready to to come to have your seats so we can begin the service. So I invite you to stand with me as we pray to begin. Let us pray. Father in heaven, we thank you for allowing us to be alive to share in this occasion. We pray that your presence will make all the difference. And as we lift up your name, as we celebrate the life of Peterson Edward, we pray, Lord, that the family can find comfort in the words that would be spoken and the gesture and the body language that would display the care and the love of God. So may we be blessed as you lead, we pray in Jesus' name. Okay, please have your seats. Please have your seats. We will sing um, It Is Well With My Soul when it's in a leaflet, when peace like a river. All right. After this beautiful song, we will invite the Paul Bearers to attend to the casket. So we will sing this hymn. And after this, we will be inviting the Paul Bearers to attend to the casket and to wheel it down along with the rest of the family. Okay, we will do It Is Well With My Soul. It's the first hymn on your, your leaflet. I'm sure you are quite familiar with this one. It is well with my soul. When peace like a river retendeth my way, when sorrows like sea billows roll, well yeah. Oh. 
side. The clouds be rolled back as a scroll. The trump shall resound and a love shall be sent. So we will sing Lean on the Everlasting Arms. It's in your leaflet as we invite the pallbearers to wheel down the casket and the rest of the family will follow. We will stand as we sing this hymn, this processional hymn, Leaning on the Everlasting Arms. What a fellowship, what a joy divine, leaning on the everlasting arms. What a blessedness, what a peace is mine, leaning on the everlasting arms. Have your seats. Ladies and gentlemen family members, both immediate and extended, well-wishers. Normally at this time, we say the welcome. And very often, and I can tell you about it because I have gone through it, we don't really 
want that welcome. We would have preferred to get a welcome to a different occasion, another activity, a celebration or something. But to some extent, although it may be a sad moment and it is the end of his life, but it is a celebration of the end of his life. So, so we do thank God for the period of time that he was able to be with us, his family and his friends. So for this reason, yes, it will be hard. Madam Sandra, okay, hey, you must have any problem. Get it lower distance. Have any problem, Madam Sandra? Okay, and the rest of the family, my brother and the others. Yes, it will be a little hard, but then it is a moment that, yes, we will put him to rest, but at the end of the day, we look forward for a better day. Amen, church? And that better day is coming. When Jesus, the better day is Jesus Christ will come again. But I leave that for the preacher. He will tell us more about that a little later so again i welcome you to this ceremony um we will ask vanessa byron are you there vanessa vanessa byron will come to do the scripture reading at this time and after that we will do the prayer vanessa can you please come to the podium she's not there yet all right so let me do it The scripture reading is First Corinthians chapter 15, verses 53 to 57. So shall we stand as we read the word of God? First Corinthians chapter 15, verses 53 to 57. Verse 53, it, it reads... For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to, the, to pass the saying which is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. And verse 55 says, we're going down to verse 57. O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. And verse 57 says, But thanks be to God, which giveth us victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Shall we pray? Lord, we thank thee this afternoon. It is not a, not a moment that we are going to say we thank thee for life, but yes, we have to say it, even though we have one among us who has passed because you are God, and that's why we still have to say thank you for life, dear Lord. But we have come so we can sympathize with the family. We can, we, can, we can let them know that there is still hope for those who are still alive, dear Lord. And then we are there to encourage them and to let them know that Jesus Christ is still the one in charge. So we pray, dear Lord, that you come by here. Comfort the family even now, dear Lord. Allow them to, to understand that this is not the end yet. But then those who are still there, there is still life to come, dear Lord. We pray, dear Lord, that you will reach out to them, touch them, dear Lord, and, and let your Holy Spirit guide them and direct them, dear Lord. Those of us who have come, dear Lord, to be there with them, to support them and to sympathize with them, dear Lord. Allow us to understand that there is coming a, a day. This is the sad reality, but it is the truth. Uh, there is coming a day when that casket will be one of us that will be there. We, we don't want that day to come, but it is the sad reality. So we pray, dear Lord, that while we are still alive, allow us to understand that we need to keep our life in you dear lord and secured under your wings bless us and keep us and let the ceremony go to your name's honor and glory i pray in jesus name Amen. please be seated all right at uh, this time we will have the tribute from the miller development committee and then followed by um, the vanna cricket team the Miller Development Committee will be doing it in a poem form. So the person who has been assigned to do that poem on behalf of the, of the Miller Development Committee, please come up to take the podium. And the representative of the Vanna Cricket team also stand by. You will be next. Meanwhile, uh, Mr. Prophet, stand by also for your special song. Okay, we have Mr. Mickey who is one of the newly executive members of the Millet Development Committee. Good afternoon, everybody. Okay. We put this poem together. 
on behalf of the deceased. Yeah. Tribute to Peterson Edward. You never said goodbye. You never said goodbye. You never said, I'm leaving. You never said goodbye. You were gone before we knew it. And only God knew why. A million times we needed you. A million times we cried. If love alone could have saved you, you would never have died. In life, we love you dearly. In death, we love you still. In our hearts, you hold a place that no one could ever feel. It broke our hearts to lose you, but you didn't go on alone. For part of us went with you the day God took you home. Thank you. Okay, the rep for the Vernon Cricket team is not there yet. That is um, Pastor Evitas James. He told me he probably would have been a little late. So um, we will hear from him a little later. But according to the program at this time, it is my turn to give you the eulogy. Okay, Madam Sandra? So, ngai fe komwe pe, Madam Sandra. All right, okay, wonderful. Peterson Preston Edward was born on June 11, 1995, in the community of Diamond, Sofre, to the Diamond Lady Sandra and Peter. And to lay cow party, Savu, take a guard, Sandra, Lau, pass South Sandra, they say Diamond. <laughs> but Sandra sought a Diamond Sofre, and that's where um, about two or three of the children um, were born. So, so listen to that. It is very interesting because from the time Peter, that's Peterson's or Preston's father, saw Peterson. Listen to this. When he went to the hospital, he did that is Peterson. So Sandra Gade, he did it. Namely Peterson. So that's why the name Peterson was given to him all right so he was born as we said at the Sufre hospital um, he spent three years at diamond Sufre with his family and his mother and the family then migrated to vana where they were located on the edge of the vana playing field now those of us who are from this area we know the area very well round the bend just by the vana playing field that's where you would meet all of the family right there. And then this is why it is said now that Peterson developed a love for cricket. And not just Peterson, but the other two brothers. And also, and also um, Ashlyn. They had that love for cricket because um, Diamond Sandra placed them on the edge of the cricket field at Verna. So they had no choice. Preston! Preston got cricket. So 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 that was, you know, they had some some exciting time there um, at the field. But but a little before that we um, we were told that um, in case you did not know, um, Preston was assigned to the preschool at Venus. Then after that, he was registered at the Millet Infant School. And after that, transitioned to the Millet Primary School. Okay, then after the, the primary school, by that time, universal secondary education had started. And then Preston now was registered at the Marigo Secondary School. That was the name back then. He spent his five years there, but then left somewhere midway in Form 5 or to the end of Form 5. Did not fully complete the five years and graduate with his CXC certificates. But he left with a skill and his hands ready to face the world of work. And then, and then that was a blessing to him. Um, we were told that, and then we know that this is the truth, because at that time, um, while he was at the infant school, I was um, teaching at the, the primary school. Um, his sister, his brother, I, I taught them, but I did not have time to teach him. All right, so, so listen to what we were told. He was always a good boy. Sabe, Sandra? 
All right, okay. Okay, both at school and at home. That's what we were told. Okay, but however, he was just doing what boys normally do. We have tea by and delay at Timaya and Beta. A girl of the bio did tap on FSU, a bit. But since I have a son, so first I'll come in all right. All right, good. But but he was just being um, 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 what a normal boy would do. But we were also told that he was mommy's favorite boy. Don't be jealous, Cleophus and Danfa. All right. But, but, but that, that's the truth. They had that special bond. Okay. And Preston would, would be home and then would check. And then there would be nothing to eat. And Preston would just tell his mother, listen, mom, just where still are. I got the poor bag. Then he came out of the He said, I'm going to All right. But, but then, and on a serious note, okay. He would, he would make sure that there was something at home for the family to eat. And then he would also use his hands, as I said, do his daily job, whether it is a day here, a day over there, and so on. And then his main objective was to make sure that there was something at home because his mother was his, his joy. And therefore, he meetable cricketers, especially playing for the Vanna APL team. And then he was also a middle order batsman and a wicket keeper. Preston, I chebe shibi ya ika chebe. Preston, kluwe kluwa like I like a kluwe. So, so the young man just had some some skills and talents, okay? And then the mother, as I said, she she enjoyed spending time with Preston. But he also worked on the banana plantation in his garden, and also with Mr. Rogers going here and there, um, doing whatever little job that he he. Well, probably found the opportunity to do. Um, listen to that interesting one. He spent a short stint as a security. But guess how? <laughs> he was in uniform, his security uniform. And he and his brothers, they were there jumping carnival when he was supposed to be at work. <laughs> And the camera showed him. So boss rally the medic. I continue to jump carnival. <laughs> All right. Yes. Okay. So so you know his real life was an exciting one and so on. All right. So so as you said, I mentioned about the Vanna APL Cricket Club. All right. So so Sandra also the mother also reported that that the boys were always involved in what what we will call sibling rivalry. But by night time, they were all. In one accord. Preston got baptized in the in a crusade conducted by Pastor Philip. That's around the 2000 somewhere there, um, 2010, 2015, between that. And then, um, but but we are told that his stint at the Van SDA Church was not too long, almost short lived. All right. But you know one thing, Law Baptist Assemblies who come more All right. So wherever you go and so on, so then that title is attached to you. Your Assemblies for life. All right, so, so Preston was a baptized member of the Vanna SDA Church. And then last year, about December so, during the vacation, I came on my land Vanna there, and then I was doing some work, and I brought Preston there with me to help me, um, uh, give him a day's job to do some work with me. And while he was there, he, I realized that he was working a little slower because I'm 50 already, and I realized by the time I reach three quarter way of where I'm going, he's still one quarter way of where he's going. So then I asked him, Preston, are you okay? Then he told me, no, he has a medical condition and this is really taking a toll on him. And then now he told me that he cannot really do much work anymore. But whatever little that he can find to do, that's what he will do. And while we spent that day, we were talking and so on. He told me, listen, um, so that's how, that's how they, they call me sometimes. So let me tell you something. You say, come January, I'm going back to church. I have changed my life. You see the little thing I used to do and so on? I am now a changed man. I have made up my mind, life is... Listen to what the young man is telling me, you know. I have made up my mind that life is too short. I don't know when I will go. So therefore, I'm going to make sure that my life is in the hands of Jesus Christ. And if somebody can tell you that, before they have passed, then you know this is somebody who has put his life in the hands of Jesus Christ. Amen, church? So, so, so this is the assurance that we have. So therefore, he was taken to the hospital, and then um, about a month later and so on, then Preston could not continue the breath that God had blessed him with, and then now he was put to rest. Ladies and gentlemen, just a synopsis of the life of Preston 
Peterson Edward. God bless you. Mr. Prophet. Good afternoon, everyone. My condolences to the family. I know we all look forward to walking on that sea that looks like glass when we shall all make it to sweet Beulah land. At this time, ladies and gentlemen, we have our newly appointed district pastor who hails from Babono, but is now serving the Vanna Ancillary District. He will be the one bringing the sermon to us, his pastor, De Souza Antoine. Thank you, Brother Sipa, for 
providing the right atmosphere, you know, helping all of us, those of us especially who are saddened and who are hurt, you know, by the passing of Peterson, to be able to still laugh, you know, and draw something out from his life as we seek to celebrate, you know, the good times that um, he had with us, especially the family members, those who were closest to him. So this afternoon, as I stand before you, my task here is very simple, and it is to bring some reassurance. You know, at times, or during times of crisis, we lose hope you know despair overwhelms us you know we find ourselves um in a state of anger and and um you know negative emotions overwhelm um us and so this afternoon i really really want to just draw your mind you know away from from you from yourself from from your situation to to someone who can change things for you. And I'm talking about the man Christ Jesus. You know, and um, I just want to read to you from Luke chapter 4, verse 1 to 5. Dead bones give life. Dead bones give life sounds a little bit paradoxical. You know, how can something dead give life? Okay, um, you know, however, we will discover this uh, from God's word. As I went through Wikipedia, and these days Wikipedia can give you the definition of anything that you want uh, with just the slide of your screen. And so Wikipedia seeks to comment or define what is death. All right, in trying to to understand this this term or this situation, especially when when you're faced with with death, what really is death? Wikipedia says that death is the irreversible now, not this irreversible cessation of all biological functionings that sustains any organism. In other words, Wikipedia is saying that death is irreversible. So once Life stops in an organism. Irreversible. Also, uh, for organisms with a brain, death can also be defined as the irreversible cessation of the functioning of the whole brain, including the, the, the brain stem. All right? Uh, the brain. And brain dead is sometimes used as the legal definition for death. So once the brain is not functioning anymore, dead, you know, even if you feel hot, <laughs> you, de you are dead based on Wikipedia. You know, along with this, especially those of us who have experienced um, death in our families, I must inform you uh, and remind you that death brings with it shock. You know, it brings with it anger, it brings with it regret. Hopelessness, sadness. You know, death brings a lot of negative emotions with it. Anxiety, death death it brings with it so much however when we accept the reality of death we learn how to cope with it Especially when someone dies, let who really cope one ever who accept the situation more um a la view that give a more than usab 
cop et puis plus meilleur. Can better cope with it. And therefore, we must make the choice. It is a choice you have to make to deal with the reality of death. So when someone dies, it is obvious that that person feels overwhelmed, feels hurt. What we call um, however God who is faithful and who is kind and who is loving uh, provides opportunities for his children to experience comfort and that's a good thing about God when death comes in fact everything is good about God you know everything is wonderful about him you know, however, when you're faced with your troubles and you think that God is not there, you know, you are not hearing him. I, I really want to inform you that he provides opportunities. God calls upon his faithful servants. He, he calls upon uh, his children, you know, those who believe in him to talk courage to those who have faced death, those who are unbelieving, those who are hopeless in the situation. So you are not alone. You are not mourning alone. Bon Dieu là avec vous, avec bon Dieu qui a voué mon époux. Pour la vie, pour parler pour. And there's no doubt I can see that God has really, really used um, El Sipal to impact the family. I, I really like the way that he has impacted the family, you know, in a phenomenal way. So bon Dieu toujours qu'il y a un monde pour mener consolation en la vie expressément là où il faut un moment qui est difficile you know god always place his children in the right place you know and those who seek strength from god the living god will find it oh yes they will find it because God is the one who provides the unwavering uh, and he provides faith. He provides the power and the willingness to experience peace and salvation in your moments of distress. He provides it. Yes. When um, in faith we take hold of his strength, the, the strength of Jesus, the strength of Christ, he will change, wonderfully change, the most hopeless, discouraged. So, if you get to a peu quoi à dans situation avec vous passe qui va nous sortir de là avec vous mettez confiance en Jésus-Christ, il va vous aider à dans manière qui spécial qui mène pour sortir de là. He can do it, my friends, and he will do it for you. So we are going to go to the definition of death based on scripture. And I will just share with you a little story. Uh, we will go to the book of, or I will go to the book of 2 Kings chapter 13 and share with you verses 20 and 21. Okay, from this passage, we will get a little more on death though it might be irreversible based on wikipedia verse 20 says of second kings chapter 13 it says and elisha died elisha was a man of god yes he was a faithful servant of god the bible declares that he died and even though you are faithful to god even though you are a man after god's own heart the time comes when you die Elisha died, the Bible says. You know, in fact, throughout Elisha's life, you know, he exercised strong faith in God. Oh, yes. And as he had advanced in his knowledge of God's providence and God's merciful kindness, faith had ripened into uh, his heart an abiding trust in his god oh yes he does that once you trust god and you grow in love with him you trust him and you love him more and more that was the testimony of elisha yes however elisha when the time came for him to rest from his labor yes death 
came knocking at his door and the Bible says he died in fact the Bible also says concerning death for especially those of us uh, who find ourselves settled in our Christ in, in our Lord precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints that's Proverbs 14 32 with the psalmist you know we all as well as with Elisha we can say uh, that God will redeem my soul from the power of the grave for he shall receive me based on Psalm 49 and verse 15. Uh, also we can say and with rejoicing uh, we can testify and say I know that my Redeemer liveth and he shall stand with me when at the latter day in the earth according to Job chapter 19 and verse 25. Talking about death you know but that sounds like words of rejoicing and words of celebration oh yes also in psalm 17 verse 15 we can say as for me i will behold thine face in righteousness i will be satisfied when i awake in thine likeness and, and that awake is to be awakened out of death the sleep of death and so this afternoon death is irreversible according to wikipedia no death is reversible according to the bible wikipedia can make a claim here but the bible says otherwise so verse 20 continues by saying and Elisha died and when and they buried him and a band of Moabites invaded the land at the coming of the year and verse 21 says and it came to pass as they were burying a man and they cast to, and behold sorry uh, they, the spies spied a band of men and they cast the the man into the sepulchre of elisha and when the man was let down to hide themselves and to hide the dead man uh, but in the occasion and in the moment to try to hide themselves and hide the man the man comes back to life when he touches the bones the dry bones of elisha you see out of a dead situation comes forth life you see my friends life is given to us as a gift from God death is from the enemy and therefore because of Jesus and his love for us he has also given us uh, uh, the gift of life from death from our eternal death isn't this wonderful oh yes my friends so Christ has given us gift the gift of life when we were born and for those of us who want eternal life out of his death the death of Christ we can have you see we have hope when we trust in Jesus and when we die in him this afternoon I really want to remind you that your hopeless situation can become hopeful in Christ because he alone can cause dry bones to bring back life to the dead according to John chapter 12 and verse 24 cannot bring forth fruit the same is with Christ unless Christ had gone down the road to Golgotha up Mount Calvary and die for us then we could not have life it is through his death that our life 
is guaranteed. Isn't this a wonderful experience in Christ? And we all can experience it today. And so, my friends, all who would bring forth fruits of life as a saved person or who would experience life together with Christ must first fall into the ground and die. So while death brings pain and suffering and distress and sadness and depression and it brings with it the negative emotions we can choose to accept the positive that Jesus brings to us through death and that is eternal life so you can choose today to move on from where you are usa swazi oblige quitter situation chez nous à la peine son décision qu'a fait pour move avec pour progresser en la vie parce que Jésus-Christ a promis salvation avec la vie pour la mort as i close Death without Christ is hopeless death. But death with Christ is fruitful. Like this man when his dead body touched the bones of Elisha. He stood upon his feet. Would you like your life to touch the life of Jesus so that you can experience eternal life by faith you can decide we all can decide to touch him today it is by touching him that we can experience that refreshing and that life reviving power that comes from his life so how many wants to touch Jesus today praise the Lord you can touch him where you are by faith, you can touch him. To touch Jesus means to have life and have it more abundantly. May God bless you as you continue to find comfort in these words. Dead bones bring life. Touch of Christ can bring back hope. It can bring back life. And even beyond just life on this side, eternal life. May God bless you here this afternoon. Okay, while we sign the register, so I invite those who are signing the register, witnesses, I'm sure you know yourselves, you will meet, you'll come with me to the back as we um, do the signing of the register. All right, may God truly bless you as you come. Okay, we have another item of special music by uh, Mr. Prophet as he sweetens our hearts.
sees I am strong when I am on your shoulders You raise me up to more than I can be There is no life, no life without its hunger. A restless heart beats so imperfectly. But when you come, I am filled with wonder. Sometimes I think I glimpse eternity. You raise me up so I can stand on mountains. You raise me up to walk on stormy seas. I am strong when I am on your shoulders. You raise me up to more than I can be. You raise me up so I can stand on mountains. I am strong when I am on your shoulders. You raise me up to more than I can be. You raise me up to more than I At this time, ladies and gentlemen, we are down to do the prayer of comfort for the family, which will be done by Elder Bulai, but then we have to wait for the family to come back out. So which means those of you who can sing will join me as we sing uh, one, two verses while we wait for the family. We will do um, on the program sheet, in the sweet by and by, we shall meet on that beautiful shore. There is a land that is fairer than the and by faith we can see it afar. Mr. Prophet, come, come quickly. Come and join me because we don't, we want everything to go well. All right, so, <laughs> so Mr. Prophet will join me and then by the time the family come out, we will allow Elder Bulai to take over. I have it all ready for you. There's a land that is fairer than day And by faith we can see it afar For the Father waits over the way To prepare us a dwelling place there In the sweet by and by We shall meet on that beautiful shore in the sweet by and by and by 
night we shall meet on that beautiful shore we shall sing on that beautiful shore the melodious songs of the blessed and our spirit shall sorrow no more not a sign for the blessing of rest in the sweet in the sweet by and by we shall meet on that beautiful shore in the sweet by and by and by we shall meet on that beautiful shore Please stand. Let us all bow our head as we pray. Father, Lord God Almighty, we chat in heaven. In the mighty name of Jesus, we give thanks and praise unto thee. We thank you, Lord, because you are God, you are, you are mighty, you are all loving. We thank you, Father, for who you are because you are creator. You made heaven and earth and everything that is in it. Lord, we thank you in a mark and special way where you have spared our life and where we have come here to pay our last respect for our late brother. Father, at this precious moment, I present the family into your hand, the entire family into your hands and care. Lord, you was there before us. You know our infirmity. You know our pain, our suffering. And you understand it as well, O oh Lord. So at this precious moment, I pray thee that you may bring comfort to the family. You may help them in this present time to find strength and courage in Christ Jesus. Help them to turn to you, Lord, because it's only in Jesus we find peace. It's only in Jesus we find healing and restoration. It's only in Jesus we find comfort. So, Lord, I pray thee that they will find this comfort in you this afternoon. Help them so that they may go through the situation the problem the trying moment so that even now lord they can come to you and they can find healing help them oh father help the family so that they can continue to encourage one another and as time goes by they will they will find healing they will be healed and by then lord they can surrender their heart to thee i pray for all of us who are here and that even now, Lord, we are have, as we have life, we have breath of life, we can surrender our heart to Jesus before it's too late. Please, O oh Lord, help us to endure. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Please be seated. Okay, at this time we are going to have the vote of thanks by Jacqueline Savi. All right, and then after the vote of thanks, we are going to make a collection, and I will tell you just a little about that collection, but I will um, have her do the vote of thanks first. All right, so meanwhile, I give you the opportunity to search your bag, your pockets, or wherever you have it, okay? All right, good. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. You will agree with me that one of the most difficult things anyone would ever have to do is to bury a child and to do what Sandra is doing today. Um, it is comforting to see so many of you take the time to attend this service and to lend your support to her and her family. On behalf of the family, I would like to thank all of you for coming to celebrate the life of the late Peterson Edward. Your generosity has meant a great deal during this difficult time. While everyone is appreciated, we want to specifically thank you, Mr. Sipal, 
and Pastor Antoine and his team for planning and organizing this memorial service and of course for the use of the Vanna SDA Church. May God continue to bless you and the church. Miss Juliana James, a special thanks to you for your unending support. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The family would also want to recognize the many other close friends and community members who kindly and wholeheartedly assisted with burial arrangements through monetary donations, reefs, flowers, words of comfort, and other forms of kindness. Words are just too limited to express the kindness all of your kindness. You brought light and comfort to the grieving family as they dealt with the loss of their uh, Peterson. A special thank you is extended to the parliamentary representative for ancillary canneries, Honorable Wayne Girard, for his meaningful contribution and support the family remains incredibly grateful. Thank you. Last but by no means least, the family would like to thank the many neighbors, friends, Tiffy again, and other um, benefactors, especially the Millet Development Committee and uh, national and sorry and the national cricket team the Vana cricket team sorry for your display of support your goodwill your love and your generosity without all of your various contributions this celebration of the life of peterson a.k.a. Preston, would not have been possible. On behalf of the family, Sandra, Ashlyn, Danfer, Peniton, we thank you all. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you very much, Ms. Jacqueline very well read and it was very well presented now now just to add to the word of thank you i'm not saying that you did not do a good job <laughs> all right so so here is the miller development committee from day one after the death i was in consultation with um the president mr Ezekias ismail all right and then we had been communicating and along with mr uh, mickey all right and then to get things going and so on and then through the millet development committee okay as she mentioned we were able to secure funds from the honorable minister okay mr winjira to cover the hospital bill so you need to put your hands together for the millet development committee and honorable um winjira to cover the hospital bill now i must also tell you with the her side of the family all right and then you know um the sepals they were part of the family also so these two families we have already covered the cost of jack mel and so on that is covered that's taken care of already all right and then now we we, we have uh, the family because i'm working closely with them uh, um, keeping all everything in check and so on check what we have what we're missing what we don't have and so on so therefore um a fraction so let us speak mathematical a fraction was given to you know the place down there all right and then a little fraction <laughs> a little fraction is is missing all right so so we we want to say thank you to to rambalis all right who understand and then when i spoke to them allow the funeral to go on knowing that we will cover everything after the funeral so thank you very much rambali funeral parlor for working with us all right so so this is why now we will make a little collection 
okay? Because one by one, we, we fill the basket, right? So, so we can help the family. So, so at the end, when we go down there, um, we will have covered everything. So, so the deacons will help us now, okay? Give generously, or you can even put yourself in the basket also, no problem. <laughs> All right, wonderful. So while this is being done, Prophet, come back on stage. We are going to do the closing song. Let us do a closing song. All right. Okay, Pastor, that's fine. All right, so we will do a closing song. Joy by and by. Oh, there will be joy when the work is done. And, and after that, we'll have benediction and then the recessional. Right, the last song on your leaflet. Oh, there'll be joy. Sorry, pause. There was one other um, set of persons we forgot to say thank you to. That is the staff of Mercy, where Danfa is working. They also, they're not just in person, but they have contributed also. So we say thank you very much to Mercy. Okay, continue the verse. Oh, there'll be joy when the work is done. Joy when the reapers gather home. Bring in the shields that set our sun to the new Jerusalem. Joy, joy, there'll be joy by and by. Joy, joy, well, the joy is never die joy joy for the day joy if not when the workers gather home sweet are the songs that we hope to sing grateful the thanks our heart shall bring praising forever Christ our King in the new Jerusalem Joy, joy, there'll be joy by and by Joy, joy, where the joys never die Joy, joy, for the day, joy, if not When the workers gather Pure are the joys that await us now. Many the golden mansions fair. Jesus himself, joy of them prepare in the new Jerusalem. Joy, joy, there'll be joy by and by. Joy, joy. Where the joys never die Joy, joy for the day Joy if not When the workers gather Ladies and gentlemen, just before the benediction Just before the pastor does the benediction from the time the program started, I'm looking at that gentleman there. I'm saying, but I, I don't know him. Who's that? I never realized that our former honorable minister, Cyprian Lansiko. You look fresh <laughs> and new and, and everything. So, no, I always, when, whenever I'm doing any ceremony and he's there, I always recognize him. So, honorable Cyprian Lansiko, it was a blessing having you. <laughs> All right, let us all stand as we have our closing prayer. As soon as I'm through with the prayer, we will invite the pallbearers to attend to the casket, and then you will permit the platform personnel to precede the casket, and then we will have the family coming behind, and the rest of the congregation will follow. Amen? Let us pray at this time. We thank you, dear Lord, for your grace and your presence. We pray as we are about to head to the cemetery that you would allow the grace of Jesus Christ and the love of God and the sweet fellowship and protection of the Holy Spirit to, to be with us as we journey on so that we can uh, have a tremendous time at the internment, we pray in Jesus' name. God bless.
for our recessional song, Mr. Prophet, we will do when the role is called up yonder. Thank you. When the trumpet of the Lord shall sound and time shall be no more. And
clothes Safe and sound Burning in a hopeless dream Hold me when you go to sleep Keep me in the warmth of your love When you depart, keep me safe Safe and sound Lift me up Hold me down Keep me close Safe and sound Drowning in an endless sea Take some time and stay with me Keep me in the strength of your arms Keep me safe, safe and sound Lift me up Hold me down Safe and sound Burning in a hopeless dream Hold me when you go to sleep Keep me safe We need light We need love Lift me up Oh 
clothes safe and sound
Yes. Okay there. Yeah. <laughs> you have to message me. You have to message me to call your name. You have to message me. Yes. <laughs>
La ce avea boss la să-i nu cu bani? A, mă, boss la să-i chinzi mă la bie! Yes, I.
Me? Ah, hello. Ah, listen to me. <coughs>
So the family would like to thank each and everyone who reached out during the time of bereavement, all those who assisted. Family, great, family greatly appreciates your support. Do have yourself a blessed and a wonderful afternoon. One love to the mats.